Hello and welcome to the Fifish Leather channel. Today I'm going to show you how I'm going to make this card holder. Just a simple two side card holder. Or actually, it's not a two side card holder, I will explain to you. So, I've made a very simple template from cardboard. This is for 86 times 64 millimeters card. So kind of standard cards around the world. I think the US is a bit different, but that's the type of card you can find all around the world. And I used one of these fish skin that I've processed a few months ago. I think it's a snapper, if I recall well, that I've treated with oil and yolk. And I've done the color with coffee. So you can see now I have my piece of leather cut as per the template. I'm gonna keep these bits for the future because I may be able to do some minor works or some like accessorized like earrings or key rings. So never throw away your off-cuts guys, just keep them. You can see the color of the coffee. So it's just a coffee ground solution. I'm just recovering all the coffee ground from my coffee pots and just put extra water and let my fish skins soak in it to get this color. So this is the template that I'm going to use, so very simple. My thought was first to do this kind of card holder, so two side with the cut, you know, in the piece in the panel. But actually because I'm using just a single piece of fish, it won't work because obviously the one side will have the inside of the fillet, which is not very nice. So you can work it out and just cut in several pieces and then you'll be able to get the right scale side. But for this time, I'm just going to use this template and use this one cut. The reason is by having one cut, I won't have any you know, two sides walls face to face. I will have just the one piece of leather, which is, I think, better. But anyway, you could you could just cut and sew, and then, which, you know, you would have a different result. But yeah, it doesn't really matter. It just depends on the outcome that you want. So this is what we're going to do. So I'll show you just now how it looks like. So for you the measurements if you want so these are millimeters obviously so I gave myself a bit of room for my stitches and the card to be able to slide up and down quite easily and also I may be able to put to insert a couple of cards just instead of one in the, the pouches so so 93 millimeters high 71 width and then for this side, you know, you can choose a length to de depending on, you know, the angle you want for the opening. But yeah, this is very simple. I have now folded my fish leather skin cut. So you can see I have, you know, the two angle part folded on top of each other. And I'm going to stick it on my saddle that I've made in my shed so I'm gonna use I'm gonna stitch the whole the whole height and a U shape so even if I don't have if I don't really need to stitch this bit because you know the, the skin is folded just on one piece. It's gonna look better from the other side, so I would have a nice U shape rather than starting from here and just, you know, thinking together the three parts. It would make me like a smaller U, so I prefer, you can do it, but I prefer to have a long U. So when I will look at the card holder from this side, my thread will start from this right top corner and do a U-shape rather than to start from here 
just threading the panel and make a smaller U. So really up to you, so you can do whatever you want. So I'm just gonna pick a polyester thread, which is really convenient for this type of uh, fish work. And what I do usually, I don't use an awl, I just use like a metal, like a big needle and I just make holes by hand. So it doesn't look perfectly straight, but I don't really mind because you know, it's a handcraft product. So, you know, some people will say, you know, if they prefer one is very neat, I don't really mind. So it's really up to you guys. You can use whatever you want, any device to make your, your holes for your fairing. But yeah, that's the way I'm using. So I'm just gonna slide down this bit on my saddle, tidy it up and just start sewing from that side. And I will try to make a continuous thread. So I'll just use one, one long thread with my double hand stitch, so with my two needles. I have three colors of thread, polyester threads for my fish leather work. So just black, purple and white. So I won't use the purple. I use the purple when I use the beetroot uh, skin, which is quite nice. I like it. And usually when I don't use the beetroot skin, uh, fish skin, I usually pick either the black or the white. So it really depends what the outcome you want. So black will be quite, you know, camouflage. So, but I think I prefer to have a bit of contrast. So I may just use the white thread with this skin, coffee skin. I've done some curings in the past with this very, very similar type of fish and color with the white threads and I like the, the light contrast is delivered. So I'm gonna give it a go with the, the white and we'll see how it looks like in a few hours. So this is how I'm making the holes in my leather. So I'll just use this thick needle and this safety fingertip. So I'll just punch through and just try to get an even even distance between the holes. So once again, you know, it's not like if I was using this little wheel puncher to have a consistent distance between the holes, but I like doing this way. And then, so I'm gonna do the first lane like this from the left to the right. Then I will start stitching. So we start from the second hole, my double hand stitch, then go back to the first one and then go to the second again and carry on. So there are plenty of tutorials on YouTube or on the internet about how to do double hand stitching. So I'm not gonna explain too much, but that's the way I'm gonna use. I have finished the stitching now, so you can see the U-shape stitches I was talking about before. So that's the front and that's the back. And this is the color from the coffee ground. It's quite nice actually. So I'm gonna stick a couple of cards so you can see how it looks like. So you can see there are two cards right now. I reckon I can fit maybe three or four because if you remember the template, I've left a bit of room on the edges so to able the card to to slide in and out, but Eventually you can put maybe one or two cards extra, but it may expand slightly the card holder, but yeah. So you can try yours now. Bye.